<laughs> uh, when it comes to real, and I say, you know, who's real and, you know, who's fake, especially when it comes to the rap game, like, there's different elements when I look at real and who's the realest and all this shit. You know what I mean? With that being said, you know what I'm saying? With me doing a lot of studying on Mozzie and doing a lot of studying on Tupac, Mozzie is realer than Tupac. What do you mean by that, Byron? That's blasphemy. Why are you saying that shit? Why are you saying this? Uh, why are you saying this is possible? It is possible, nigga, because you, if you do your damn research, you will see that Mozzie is realer than Tupac. First thing of all, we can even go to enemies. We can start off with enemies because Pac always rapped about enemies. He always had all these enemies. You know what I'm saying? Majority of his enemies were executives and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what y'all understand. Like, you know, as a Gemini, we have the ability to express ourselves and make ourselves extremists. You feel what I'm saying? So what we do is we make ourselves extremists in how we express ourselves to convince people to make it seem like something's bigger than what it is. You feel me? I do it every day on Facebook. I make my life look like it's hell on earth. And meanwhile, I'm out here just enjoying myself smoking weed, drinking every day, nigga. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying is this. Pac expressed himself to make it seem like the situation was bigger than what it is, but really it wasn't even all that big in the first place. He didn't have no enemies. He had no cops after him. He had no niggas after him. Everybody loved Tupac. He had no goddamn enemies. We are Biggie and them. Biggie and them was, uh, if, if anything, you know what I'm saying, he made Biggie and them more popular by saying they was his enemy. But they wasn't looking for Pac actively. He could go to any city. There wasn't people, there wasn't goons outside wanting to kill him. He was fully protected. He was underneath the label, fully protected by police. Yes, police, nigga. These fools be protected by the police, you know what I mean? From NWA all the way through the 90s. All these major gangster rappers were protected by the police, man. You know what I mean? As far as Mozzie, how real it is, he ain't protected by police. When he says pull up, he means really pull up. And he's really with the activities. You really pull up to his shows, there's 300, 400 niggas with, with guns. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm exaggerating, not three, 400 niggas, but there's at least 80 to 100 that all are thumped up. And this, this is a real life true story of me pulling up, you know what I mean? Even though I had like all types of other stuff going on in my life during that time when I went to that concert, you know what I mean? But I ain't gonna talk about that. But what I'm saying is this, we, if you pull up, if you want to, it, and think you have a problem with that nigga, you try to call the problem with that nigga, it's gonna be all types of problems. No police, all his homies that love, uh, love him to death. And if he wasn't real, you couldn't, if, if he wasn't a real nigga, 100 niggas wouldn't pull up, 100 niggas wouldn't pull pistols for him. 100 niggas wouldn't be putting their life on the line for him if he wasn't a real nigga. I ain't seen some so-called real niggas pull up the shows, maybe one or two, 3D. You know what I mean? Because they wasn't a real nigga. They ain't had solid niggas like that to protect them. Mozzie, on the other hand, he has real homies that will really will kill you if you feel like he's fake as fuck. And you can even look at the enemies, for instance, like, which is the whole sack, the whole city wants to kill him, which I never really understood. How could a whole city just want to kill you based upon how good you rap? All of a sudden now, everybody got a problem with your set. They didn't have any problem with, with your set before, but now all of a sudden, everybody, all the sets is funking with one set because of some other nigga. You know what I mean? I don't really want to mention this name because, like, to me... I don't really know the nigga Lavish D like that, so I can't call him fake, I can't call him real, but all I know is from what I what, what I heard from some reality raps from Mozzie when he says that, oh, Lavish D got his, got his, got his bins took. That's a true story. He did get his bins took. Did he tell the homie Chubbs? Who know? Because the homie Chubbs is in jail right now over that situation. Oh, niggas is pulling out cameras. That's a true story. Nigga Lavish D is in jail for pulling out a camera on a fade. On a, a Three niggas couldn't fade one nigga. They, they, they fade their homie Kill Bill and look what happened to him. That's a true story. Kill Bill came back with the blamatory. You feel what I'm saying? So, oh, Prince Dredda. Oh, who, who, who's Lavish D's brother? We better line him up with, with the new taper. They caught the nigga slipping. You can listen to the song yourself. It's called Set a Demo. They caught the nigga slipping and lined him up for a new taper. How real? How, that's real. That, these are reality stories right here. If you go back to Goon Body and Body, man, you go back to Blada. Blada is like, Blada was in the, the, the Rolling Stone. 
is in the Rolling Stone. They don't put nothing in the Rolling Stone unless it's, it's real. You know what I'm saying? The Rolling Stone. They put in the Rolling Stone because this is a reality ass rap. This shit is really than I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? Usually, like, when I do gangster raps, I'm like, well, you know, I find niggas exaggerating a little bit. They just have to be exaggerating a little bit. There's no exaggeration about Mozzie at all. No exaggeration. This is 100% real. And if you don't believe me, man, you have to see it for yourself, man. You know, Pac, on the other hand, he spoke some real shit, but you don't even know who Pac was half the time. Revolutionary. He was a revolutionary one part of his life, then he part the other part of his life, then he was a thug half the time, then he was an actor the other time. Keep it real with you, to me, he was an actor the full time. When he tried to be a thug, he actually got killed by some thugs. Everybody knows the story. Real niggas don't know the story about how he got killed. He got killed by some real active crips. Trying to jump and participate in some shit that didn't involve him. And thought it was cool and got that ass pop. That's a true story. He made a song about it. Fucking with the wrong nigga. The nigga fucked with the wrong nigga and got his ass pop, man. Then he conned y'all to believe that he's still alive and stuff. And niggas still, to this day still believe this nigga alive. This nigga been dead since 96. He's really dead. Okay? I did full down, I did full out study on this and found out the nigga is really dead. No matter what conspiracy he come up with, this nigga is dead. So when it comes to when, when it comes to lyrical content, I mean lyrical content is on, on it's a personal opinion, but my personal opinion is I like real lyrical content. You know what I mean? That's why Pac was always my one of my favorite rappers. Same thing with Sibo and same thing with uh you know, same thing with Mozzie. You know what I'm saying? As far as Sibo, you know, I mean, if you want to put that argument there, oh, Mozzie ain't realer than Sibo, like, you know, Sibo's hood was never that deep like that. Sibo, Sibo didn't pull up 100 deep with, with niggas with choppers out. He never pulled up. He pulled it. he tried to perform out on the seaside and almost got his ass whipped. You know what I mean? He had to get up out of here. I ain't seen the nigga since. And this is a true story. So, I mean, I, could we do that to Mozzie? Hell no, you can do that to Mozzie. Cause like you said, Google the niggas that he be with. You know what I'm saying? They cheese shit. This shit is real life. You know what I mean? So that's why I say he's a realist. Cause everything I said panned out. You feel me?